let's get a better understanding of how these escape sequences work. Now this backslash E is really just hitting the escape key once, left square bracket to in a capital J, and according to this it clears the screen. Escape, left square bracket 12, semicolon 40H, positions a cursor on the screen. Now let's take a look at our screen. Our screen is broken down into 24 rows by 80 columns. And basically escape, left square bracket 12, puts us halfway down our screen here, and 40 puts us in the middle. So it's going to do escape less square bracket 40 capital H and then it's going to print the message hi there. Now we're going to look at it by another means. Let's look at this other program that we've done which was basically put char get char. And when we're running that program we can type in characters. Now if we refer back to what we had before we had escape so I'm just going to hit the escape once less square bracket 2 and capital J. That means that our screen is going to be clear. The next thing it's going to do is escape. I hit that once, left square bracket, 12, semicolon, 40, capital H, and notice our cursor is now positioned at row 12, column 40. And then if I was to just type in hi there, that's what our program does on that next line. Or backslash T, backslash T, and backslash N. So backslash T is tab. I'm just going to hit the tab key hit the tab key again, and to do the backslash N, which is a line feed, I'm just going to do control J as I've done before. Then I'm going to say two tabs and line feed, and then I'm going to backslash R as return, so I'm just going to hit the return key and type carriage return. And this is exactly what that program does. And we've done it just by typing characters in from the keyboard, but basically this is the result we're going to get back from having the program itself type these things in instead of from the keyboard to the screen coming from the program to the screen. Now one of the key features as it mentions in the notes here as we slide down is that one of the better things is to actually have the screen constantly update with information whether it be from a temperature sensor, switches, any kind of transducer constantly displaying that same information in the same place on the screen